Alright you guys, so today I'm doing a watch me work, but you guys know I love facts. So since I put candy canes on the nails, I was looking up like crazy candy facts. And then I was like starting to think like, you know how during the holidays from Halloween to New Year's, we are going to family get togethers and we're eating a lot of candy, consuming a lot of really good food. And after the holidays, we all get a little bit depressed because we gain weight. And you know, before summer hits, we all start trying to diet. And we want to get that bikini body back. Well, I wanted to incorporate like maybe um, crazy dieting scares or something. I was just looking up stuff, right? Facts that I could talk about. You guys, I found the ickiest stuff that people have done. Um, like we're going to talk about the craziest, most insane, dangerous diets that have been done. Things that are going to make you squirm. Like 20 foot insects being pulled out of bodies. Like, let's get into this watch me work. And yeah, we're going to talk some horrific diets. And let's get into it. Trigger warning. Us as women, we have body image issues, body dysmorphia. And we've all done some crazy diets. So if this is going to trigger you, you don't have to watch this. So I have not done any client's nails in like five months. I cut everyone off. I was done. I was over it. I work 50 hours a week. I work night shift and I work 12 hours through the night in the cold and I run a business. I have children. I am not putting up with people making appointments and canceling on me or not even canceling, just not even showing up and having me sit around waiting. I couldn't do it. I, I cut everyone off, but this person was not a client. This person is a close friend of mine that has been with me since the beginning. She used to let me practice on her nails all the time. She's probably the first person I ever done a set of nails on. So when she called me and was like, and we only do nails on her for like special occasions. We've done her um, baby reveal party nails. We've done holiday nails and all that good stuff. So when she called me and was like, listen, girl. I got ideas. I want glitter. I want an ombre. I want French. I want nail art. I was screaming in my head like, yes, <laughs> you got to get over here. So this is where we're at. We're just going through and doing some natural nail prep where I pushed back the cuticles with my cuticle pusher. Then I'm going in with my um, cuticle bit going in up under that cuticle area all the while still pushing back cuticles, pushing them with the bit and cleaning up around that cuticle area, getting all that protein growth and crustiness up out of there. Then I'm gonna go in with my non-disposable sanding band. This is a natural nail bit that you can disinfect. You don't have to throw it away. You can use it, disinfect it, and use it again. I'm just going in, again, pushing back the cuticles, getting in those sidewalls, cleaning out the sidewalls, etching that nail plate, and getting everything ready for our nails. I go in with dehydrator and I make a mistake. I haven't done nails in a while. I always pop mine off so I don't have to use primer. So what I did was I went in with the dehydrator and just automatically reached for the primer. I put the primer on and then realized, shit, I still got to glue the tips on. So primer is not going to mess that situation up. You can still glue your tips on on top of primer. But with our primer, we have a very sticky non-acid primer and that means that I could cut her nails back to the length that she wanted but I couldn't file them into shape because the dust would just stick into that primer which I was fine with cool we're just not going to do any shaping right away these are shorties they're going to be thin anyways I can just shape at the end and that's what I did so our first horrific diet is called the feeding tube diet, and this is marketed. This is done by doctors, and ABC News actually broke the story of this. So they market it towards like brides and women who are getting married because a lot of women, they get a dress and then they gain a little bit of weight and it doesn't fit. Wedding dresses are not stretchy. So if you gain a little bit of weight, it's not going to fit correctly. So what they do is the women, they pay $1,500 to go to a doctor. The doctor puts a feeding tube up their nose that goes down their throat into their stomach. And this feeding tube is loaded with a solution of proteins and fats. And it drips about 800 grams a day into them. And it has no carbs whatsoever. 
So the worrying aspect of this is that it's marketed by doc like certain doctors, but once the feeding tube is placed up the nose, the person pays the $1,500. They carry around the feeding tube for 10 days, but they carry it around on their own. This is not done in a hospital. And the side effects of this could be nauseousness, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, um, gas, bad breath, and then, you know, just um, being very, very uh, weak, being very weak. So it's very, very dangerous, and it's been scientifically proven to be dangerous, but this has not stopped. This is something that people still do. So she wanted square, so I'm just going in with some square tips and applying it over top of that primer, which is fine. I just got to make sure that I am not going in and doing any shaping that's going to create any dust that would stick to that primer. Just going to cut them back to the length that she wants, and then we're going to go in with our acrylic. So this next one, have you ever heard of the tapeworm diet? As scary and horrific as this sounds, like it comes out of a horror movie and like it's just, it's too crazy to be real. It's 100% real. And while it's illegal in the US, people actually um, go to Mexico or order them from Venezuela. These are definitely still able to be found and people are still getting their hands on this diet. And what it is, is they take tapeworm um, for cows, right? Or bovine tapeworms. And they take the larva or eggs. They put it in a capsule. They send the capsule to the unsuspecting person. Well, they're suspecting, especially if they're smart. They know the, the scaries of this. But the person takes the capsule. The capsule gets through their stomach into the di digestive tract, pops open the larva is exited, it goes onto the digestive tract wall, and it, it hatches and just continues to grow. And what's scary about this is that you are now competing with this worm for any amount of nutrients. People become anemic, people can, you know, become unalived. It's, it's very scary because it can get out of control very quickly. And what these people tell you is that once you've taken it, once you're done and you want it to come out, you are to go to a doctor or a hospital and get a antiparasitic medication. And it's supposed to kill the tapeworm and um, you will just excrete it naturally. That's right. You're going to poop, poop out a 20 foot worm. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my God. I can't. Um, anyways. Oh wait. Okay. So here, this is going to be the ombre nail. So I'm just doing bare beauty, um, ombre it down over that clear tip. And then we're going to go with glitter at that tip and ombre it back up and then encapsulate it. The two middle fingers are going to be full nude. Those are going to get the nail art. And then we're going to do a Frenchie on the pointer finger and the thumbs. So I'm just going in the nude is bare beauty. And we're just going to go in with some raw glitter, um, to do the encapsulations with. But okay, listen, with this tapeworm, what they don't tell people is that tapeworms are asexual. So once you've taken this and it's in your tract and it's growing and thriving off of everything that you eat and you're going to consistently stay hungry because it's eating everything. So you will consistently be hungry no matter how much you eat, no matter what you do, you will consistently be hungry and losing weight. Um, this tapeworm, once it gets to a certain size, will actually start to lay eggs of its own. And these eggs can burrow their way through your digestive tract into your bloodstream and get sent other places like your lungs, your liver. Um, it's, it becomes a very scary situation. And people have been found to like get cysts because of this, cancer from it. Um, it's not safe. So if you've ever thought about doing a tapeworm diet, you thought, man, this is genius. Like I'll have to do nothing but eat and I can still lose weight. No. No, sis, because you're going to lose a lot more than just weight. You could lose, you know, this special thing called your life. So, and, and I mean, even if it does go the best route possible is you sitting on the john and this 20 foot thing, like trauma, PTSD, uh, all of it. No, no, that's a no for me. I will not be doing this diet anytime soon. 
All right, so this next one is called the tongue patch diet. When I say like um, mad scientists, sinister doctors, that is exactly what this is. There was this doctor in Venezuela that came up with this treatment. And what he does is he takes this wire mesh and sews it onto your tongue. And what it does is it creates so much pain when you try to eat or chew that you just opt to not do it. And they, they send you home with sustenance, like these, um, food, food drinks, these shakes, um, that have some type of nutrients in them, but you're to wear this tongue patch for 30 days where you are going to be in nothing but pain. And after 30 days, they will take it off and you should have lost 20 pounds by that time. No shit. You can't even, like, I wouldn't even want to drink the shake with a wire mesh thing sewn to my tongue. Like, it, I, I could believe one person came up with this, but what I can't believe is that a doctor in the U.S. went to Venezuela, saw this, and thought it was a great idea, and actually brought it back to the U.S. and was doing this on people. Now, I don't believe that it's available anymore. It's pretty damn cruel to do to people. But you never know. There's always weird doctors out there willing to take your money to do whatever you want them to do. So if you saw me, I was actually pinching this nail. Her nails are very wide. She has very short fingers, but her middle finger and her pointer finger are very, very wide. And it's just an, a weird look. So I've learned to pinch those nails. And what I do is I don't have to pinch by just um, a lot of people when they build out with nail forms, they will pinch, but you can actually pinch the nail tip that you apply and it's just as good. Um, so that's what I did. I pinched that middle finger to, to bring down the bulk on the sides and to make it look a little bit more, um, feminine or petite, make it look more petite, I guess. And then here we're just going in and we are creating these Frenchies. I do not go back and file around the edges because once I do the glitter and I file everything down, I actually end up going in with some of our um, red gel paint and line around it. So it doesn't have to be a perfect little French because I'm going to go back in and tighten everything up with gel paint. And you're going to see me do that in the end. So listen, dieting is a huge thing in the U.S. and they will sell you almost any type of bull. Like anything that they can get you to listen to, they will. And they, like these quacks are crazy. So in the 1950s, they found out about HCG. And what that is, is it's something found in pregnant women's urine. You're right. Listen, it's that chemical that actually um, is what pregnancy tests search for when you are um, taking a pregnancy test. It, it's the chemical that that pregnancy test is trying to detect. And if it detects H HCG, it, it shows up positive. If you don't have HCG, it will tell you that you're negative. So it's a pregnancy hormone, right? What these doctors did in the 50s was they synthesized that HCG hormone and they ended up putting it in pills, and selling it to people as a weight loss supplement. Yeah, pregnant women's urine. They're selling that as a weight loss supplement. But they're also selling it with a 500 calorie a day diet. And then because it works, people swear by it. Even though it's scientifically proven that HCG does not cause weight loss, the 500 calorie a day part causes the weight loss. <laughs> God, I hope I can never be this dumb. People still nowadays, if you get online, they go crazy over this diet. They believe that it works and that is all there is to it. So you cannot say anything bad about this diet because people have done it still and swear up and down that it works. So not the 500 calorie a day part, it's the HCG. That's what's working for them. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we're getting ready for our glitter. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I keep these nails super thin because they're short. I don't want them being bulky and glitter can bulk things out really quick. So I go in with base coat, a super thin layer of base coat in all the areas that are gonna get the glitter. 
I cure it and then I burnish in my red chrome. This red chrome matches my glitter perfectly. So I just burnish this red chrome in and then I go in with another layer of base gel to protect this red chrome and I just apply my glitters into that second layer of base gel. The base gel that I use to protect the chrome, I'm applying my glitters into that. And once I'm happy, I will cure and then I'm going to encapsulate everything with clear acrylic. All right, so this next diet is not scary, technically, but it's, it's harmed, like, unalived, over 58 people. It's actually not around anymore. Not saying that it's not going to make a comeback, so that's why we should definitely learn from our history so that we don't allow these things to make a comeback. But this guy, it's called the Prolin Diet or the Last Chance Diet. And this guy, Roger Lynn, created this diet in like the 1950s. What he marketed it, at, marketed it as is a high protein weight loss beverage, right? Or like um, almost like um, a cleanse. But it only had 400 calories. And what that means, if you're only consuming 400 calories a day, you are starving yourself. But people thought like, okay, but... It's packed in protein. Nope. This man, he wasn't, okay? This man, what he did was he went around to slaughterhouses and got byproducts like horns, hoofs, hides, tails. Every part of the animal that has no, 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 no nutrition at all. And he created the beverage out of that, adding like flavors and stuff like that to make it taste a little bit better and become a little bit more appealing. But it had very little protein in it. It was just something that they were taking and it felt like you're taking something, right? Because you're eating something. But when it has no nutritional value, very little protein actually, and only 400 calories, you're literally starving yourself. And this Prolin diet got people crazed. People were losing weight like crazy. But they were also becoming very, very unhealthy. And when 58 people unalive in a year, a year span, something is very wrong. So our next and last one is one I'm pretty sure we have all seen in, in action, right? I know my mom took part in this. And my, my, my aunts, like it's called the model's diet and young girls who were like in high school in the eighties all took part in this. I'm pretty sure. And like it started in the fifties with these models and ballerinas, bodybuilders have gotten in on this. And what it is, is cigarettes. Yes, just cigarettes. So nicotine is a stimulant and it curbs cravings. And then obviously all the other chemicals inside the cigarette itself, like carcinogens and other stuff, like the addictive chemicals they put in the tobacco, um, they just, yeah, people smoking cigarettes to lose weight. And obviously if you feel like cancer versus weight loss is a fair trade, then hey, you found a great diet, but a lot of people who did this and started smoking could never quit. They didn't smoke because they liked it. They smoked to lose weight, but then obviously it's addictive and they still smoke today because they can't seem to cut the habit. And it's sad because you're seeing so many people coming up with cancer and so many deaths from lung cancer and cigarettes. It, it's just... You would think that cigarettes would be outlawed by now, but they're not. They just keep raising the price on them. These idiots want to smoke? Well, let's let them smoke. They just got to pay us to die. And that is what is the most dangerous is that it's a diet that kills you, but that our government has jumped in on and, you know, they have definitely made money off of this fad and it's kind of despicable. Why wouldn't our government, once finding out that it causes cancer, just stop people from even being able to get it? 
you know, but it's a, it's a good business here in America. We grow tobacco and if we did stop, um, cigarettes, you know, then it could potentially harm, um, part of our industry. So I don't know. It is a diet. It's dangerous. It's not safe. And it's still going on today, but who am I to talk? All right. So I said all that to say this, don't listen to these idiots out there. We got people all over TikTok selling you flat tummy teas and detoxes and cleanses. They use these buzzwords to make it sound like it's just so healthy and scientific. It's a detox. Who wouldn't want to detox their body? That's a good thing, right? You guys don't believe everything these content creators are out here saying. These Kardashians are out here saying they will do anything to fill their own pocketbooks. You have to think about that. They're getting money for selling you stuff. You you can't believe everything you see or hear, especially on freaking TikTok. These people will sell you anything and they will sell their own soul to become famous. These little fad diets that they sell you, like these detoxes and these teas, all that is is just lowering your calorie intake through the day. That's all that is. How much calories do you think you're getting if you're just drinking a tea all day long? Like, you don't have to buy somebody's crap to do that. You could literally just do that on your own. And honestly, you don't have to just drink tea all day long. You could just have really healthy foods around you and just eat those. You don't have to make yourself miserable. And you can get up and take a couple walks a week. You know, and it doesn't have to be outside. It's cold as hell out. Just walk up and down your steps a couple times. Boom, you're done. Just get a little bit active. Get your heart rate pumping. If you stay consistent with this, you're going to see a better, healthier version of yourself without spending money with these people that don't care about you and will sell you dangerous things that are not scientifically studied, not, not regulated by the FDA. You know, they, they don't have no studies on long-term, long-term effects. And we're now seeing obviously diets that people were on that they didn't know were unsafe. We're now seeing, obviously they were never safe to begin with. And these people were just like us. Back then, they were just like us. They were following these celebrities and getting told to do these things and that it was okay to do and it was going to help them. And of course, they did it. And people were, you know, dying. People were getting cancer. People are like, it's just crazy. Don't follow these fads. They're just not enough information. The holidays are rough. We all gain a little bit of weight. Just you know, take care of yourself and don't, don't listen to these other people out here. All right. So now we're going in and encapsulating. And like I said, I just went in and applied the chrome with some base gel and then applied base gel on top of the chrome and put my glitters into that, cured it. And I'm just going in with some clear acrylic and encapsulating everything. Look at this. Somehow I accidentally got nude acrylic in my freaking, ugh. I had nude acrylic in my clear and I don't know how it happened and it just kept happening. I think like when I went to go fill one of my jars of clear, um, like because I always just refill my jar. I don't just throw my old jar out and give myself a brand new clear acrylic. What I do is I just reuse my jar and fill that with clear. I think I filled the wrong jar or something. I don't know because... Like it, I keep pulling nude out of it and I'm like, shit, this, this had to have had nude in it before I dumped the clear because as I'm getting down into it, I'm starting to pick up little beads of nude. So I think I fudged up you guys, <laughs> but oh well, we figure it out and we get through this set and it turns out super cute. This is the part of the video where I'm going to let you know you need to subscribe to this channel. Um, you need to make sure that you put your notification bell on. The next set that I'm doing on myself is going to be really cool. It's going to be a Creepmas set and it's going to be a collab and you don't want to miss that out. Miss out on that. It's going to be a super long set. I don't usually do watch me works. You're not going to get to look forward to this um, very much, but uh, I do do long fun sets and we talk about a lot of really cool things along the way. So make sure that you ring that bell and tell me, have you guys done, um, fad diets? Have you, I've, I don't think I've ever one time, I think in high school, I think I was at my highest weight of like 180. And for some reason I thought I was just going to become vegetarian, right? 
So in the idea of becoming vegetarian, the only vegetarian foods that I had around my house was cream of mushroom soup and rice. It's all that was there. So for like a week, I ate cream of mushroom soup and rice and I didn't lose any weight. And I was like, why am I not losing weight? And then come to find out, my friend told me, she was like, oh my God, Sierra, rice is full of carbs. You cannot eat as much rice as you're eating. I was eating bowls of rice because I was so hungry. And I felt like I was just starving the whole time I was doing this. And I was so miserable. And go figure, I did it all and didn't lose no weight. I'm pretty sure that's the only fad diet I've ever done. And after that, I was just like, yeah, diets are not for me. Um, I graduated at like 180. And then once I graduated, I ended up losing a ton of weight because I went out and just kind of had made friends and became active and just lived my life naturally. And yeah, it ended up coming off naturally. But what I want to know is, have you done a fad diet? Have you ordered tapeworms? Tell me the truth. Have you? I, I wonder, like, I, I think there was one point in time where I heard about this tapeworm diet. And I was like, wow, that would be really cool. That would be really easy just to, like, eat a tapeworm. And then I could eat whatever I want. And it's just going to eat that for me. And I'm not even going to have to gain weight. But then I found out how you consistently are going to stay hungry because you're not getting any of your food. It might be going through your mouth, but you get no satisfaction from it. So yeah, that's that. Now, once I'm done encapsulating, I'm going to file off camera. I'm not going to show you guys the full filing routine and we're just going to go straight into nail art. It's too hard to try to file on camera. You guys aren't going to see it because like I'm moving the hand around so much. I get out of frame and it's just too hard on me. So here we are. We're going to do like this little um, transition. Boom. Here we go. Now we're just going in. I already filed the nails. I'm going in and I'm just taking our um, red gel paint from our To Die For Gel Paints collection and outlining this French and, you know, just sharpening it up, making it look super tight, crispy, pretty. And yeah, and if I need to clean up, I just use a brush with some alcohol on it, clean that up. Go in, create these cute little candy canes. This was such a fun little idea. I never thought to do it a bunch of little candy canes all over the place. It's it's adorable. I love this set. This set was just way too cute. I go in and I create the red candy canes. I cure them and then I go in and do my white stripes. I'll cure that, do like white dots, you know, white stripes, white dots, cure, and then boom, we're pretty much ready for um, top coat and we are done. This was such a fun set and the nail art was not hard. If you need a cute idea for some nail art, this is definitely something that is super easy, cute and fun. So yeah, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this video. Let me know, have you done a fad diet? Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Pretty please like this video. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. You melt the ice behind my stone cold eyes. I turn the ashes, but only just sometimes and hear your smoke but you still act surprised it's not my fault when we end up capsized you call me crazy now but you don't understand i'm calling out to you can you hear a thing cause you lit the match that ignites the flame i'm the tnt but you're the spark to blame and it's fire burning holes inside my brain feel the fire keep the melts down again now it's pouring through my veins but i said you're the spot to play and it's fire burning holes inside my brain